I've been a little bit confused about this DMARC policy stuff going on, uh, thanks to Google and Yahoo apparently rolling out some more security changes for emails. If you're confused, you're in the right place. If you've never even set up a custom email, you're in the right place. I'm going to actually do that on this Beehive account today. If you are scared about the DMARC policy stuff, scared of making a mistake, you're in the right place. I'm going to walk through that on my own account here today as well. I'm going to give a little lay of the land first. Uh, I am using verified custom domains here for the address of my website. So I've set that up. I use Namecheap for my hosting. I've used other ones. That's just the one that I chose for this particular URL. Let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add another custom domain, and it's going to be mail.progressandperfection.com because we're going to use this for our custom mail address. So there it is. Once you've, already, once you've added these first ones, it's just going to verify immediately because it, it already went through the verification when you went through the domain setup. So that's added and verified. I've got the redirect, redirect setup, and now we want to select custom email domain. So I'm going to use that mail.progressandperfection.com, and then I'm going to configure the domain. Here are the CNAME values that we're going to now copy and paste into our Namecheap account. So I'm going to put these side by side. I'm going to come over here and create new record and just copy and paste all of these in here. And I'm going to speed this up. So I've copied these and pasted them into my Namecheap DNS settings. Now I'm going to click Verify Setup. Custom domain is not configured correctly. So we've hit our first little snag. It is verifying the configuration. I copy and pasted everything in. The only thing that was different on Namecheap for me is that the name indicated to copy from Beehive, uh, I think corresponds to the host value in Namecheap. Yeah. Add the host info, which is listed as name on the Beehive page. Okay. Uh, I tried to re-verify this and it said it can only do it once every 10 minutes. Okay, let's see if we can verify that setup now. Boom, custom domain configuration verified. Well, that's satisfying. So now we've got the email username, hi at mail.progressandperfection.com. We can update this to be whatever we want it to be. So if I want it to be Amen, we can confirm that. Now I think, let's test this. I think if I go to one of my scheduled posts and I send a test to myself, check it out. It came from our custom email. Okay, so that's set up properly. We're good to go. Uh, for the time being though, we can set up our DMARC records. And this is simply one file. It's a text record. And it looks like this. I'm going to copy this one. This is in the Beehive docs. Now what I've copied in here is a version. V equals DMARC1. P is the priority. I'm going to put none to start with. It's been recommended in a couple of the articles that I checked out in advance to just start with none. And then the percentage, it shouldn't matter since I'm selecting none. You can read more on this. I'll link an article that I referenced in the description below. But I'm going to put just percent zero. And then these mail to addresses, I'm using dmark at mail.progressandperfection.com as well as uh, comma separating that with Amy Cottrell at Gmail, my regular Gmail address, so I can get these reports, hopefully in the next few days as I've implemented this and see what the heck the reports actually are. But anyway, that's, that's the logic behind how I've written this. This is the only real thing that you have to specify for yourself. You can change the percentage and the priority according to your DMARC policy. We're going to create a new text record, and we're going to paste this in right here. This is going to be a DMARC value. I believe... It's underscore DMARC for the host name. Yeah, so check it out. The name looks like underscore DMARC. I'm a little perturbed that that's not in the documentation on Beehive, but whatever. There we go. So I've saved all that. So I've got the three CNAME records from Beehive. 
I've got the DMARC text record from the Beehive instructions. Let's see if it'll let me verify this again. Verify setup, custom domain can only be checked every 10 minutes. So now we just gotta wait for a minute, I'll be back. Okay, let's see if we can verify that setup now. Boom, custom domain configuration verified. Well, that's satisfying. So now we've got the email username, hi at mail.progressandperfection.com. We can update this to be whatever we want it to be. So if I want it to be Amen, we can confirm that. Now I think, let's test this. I think if I go to one of my scheduled posts and I send a test to myself, check it out. It came from our custom email. Okay, so that's set up properly. We're good to go. So if I reply to this, I still have set my reply to address as my Gmail address. Hey, let me know if this was helpful for you in the comments. I make tech tutorials like this all the time. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. It would really help me out a lot. If there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to see covered, please let me know that as well. 